Hey guys, Lady Pokemon Art here. Today I'm going to show you a collection binder for a couple of um, collections. Well, it was actually just one collection and a couple of binders that I got. The cost price was £700, it's about £1,100, um, $1, and I'm just going to go through it. Um, it's pretty good actually, I thought it was really good, and a lot of it is just bulk, decent sellable stuff, so I thought I might as well show it. Um, usually I don't show things like this, but hey, why not? It's got loads of premium gold stuff. This is basically a premium gold binder. There's loads of stuff from um, Dimension of Chaos, and then a couple high-speed riders and then premium gold too. But it's just bulk, so I might as well show it. So we got 9 Lone Fires, 18 more. These are all gold. Pretty, pretty awesome, actually. I was quite lucky to get this. More gold Lone Fires. Uh, then we have some Jinzos and then finish off the Lone Fires. More Jinzos, these are gold Jinzos. And then some the Monks. I mean, I gave uh, the person a list of cards that I would buy because I know I can get rid of some the Monks, Jinzos, uh, Lone Fires at pretty decent prices. And I bought them for next to nothing. They just had absolutely loads. Some more summoner monks. Uh, we got a bunch of thunder kings here. A um, couple of cyber dragons, black luster soldiers. Shame we didn't have more. Uh, summoner monks. Oh yeah, I already said that. Uh, JD, more JD and dark arms. What is? Yeah, so, yeah, it's like that. That's a better view. Um, dark magician girls and gold veilers. More gold veilers. Another gold veiler and some gold trap stuns. More gold trap stuns, loads of gold bottomlesses. Uh, more gold bottomless, more uh, gold mirror forces, we've got loads of them. Um, number 82s, we've got uh, lots as well. Like, it's just so sick. I've bought them for next to nothing. Not even, well, not even a dollar each, I can say. Um, uh, a couple of Pippin Lances, uh, gold MSTs, more gold MSTs, the premium gold MSTs of course. Moving on, we got more gold MSTs, uh, gold Blue Eyes Ultimates, uh, 12 Stardusts, I mean, these all sell very well, very quickly. 18 BLs, this was incredible, like it was really, really cool. <laughs> couple of gold gods. This person obviously bought loads of cases. Well actually this looks like the ratios of one case of premium gold. So actually I gave quite a good price because um, it was probably a case. It doesn't, uh, it was definitely more than a case. It just doesn't have many gods. No idea. I'm not going to ask you know where you go, how much you got it from all that. So we've got obelisk, ciphers. Now the thing with these, these sell for very high um, but they only I probably sell one set every month or so, but literally the cost price a set of gods I'm paying literally like ten dollars. It's pretty mad um, Exodia's blue eyes Exodia's obviously they got printed in Yugi's legendary decks. So again, I just sort of said I'll take them off their hands. It's fine um, Gold chains <laughs> Five headeds We've got a couple of brilliant fusions, which is nice. Unfortunately, that's only the only core super rare that they had. Toon Kingdoms, Fang of Critias, Claw of Hermos, and Pot of Bitches. Four Honor Arcs, pretty cool. Um, three Ultra Ones Gold, and we got three two Exosons at the bottom, and an Ultra Alucard, one from Mega Pack, one from Ship. Uh, Shadow Spectres, uh, Majesty's Fiend, Secret Rare, uh, two Draglu ones. I'm gonna get rid of this glare, but obviously not. So now to high speed riders, we got ten betas. Wait, there was one on that page, yeah. So ten, uh, nine, ten betas, uh, seven gammas. A couple of Chanbaras on here, there's two Chanbaras and nine more on here. 
So stick um, eight banes along with a red wyvern. More red wyverns here. Or waven even. Um, five omegas and five tristulas. One on the next page. And loads of hot red uh, archfiend abysses. Twelve Italis. Six ultimate odd eyes vortex trackers. I thought I'd pick these up in case they got like I wasn't paying much on them anyway, so it's okay. The same, I was paying the same price on these as I was at the gods. And the blue eyes ultimates and the BLs is really good prices. Uh, Ghost rare scarlights. Um, five secret vortexes. There's a raccoon. I paid. This is probably the most expensive I've paid on any card in, in the binders, so it's all good. Um, Scarlight, we got seven secrets, one ultimate, one vector here, six reloads, two cats, nine urgent ritual barks, but I didn't value these at anything, but I, I just took them anyway. A couple of Magic Spectre Cyclones, <laughs> loads of this Blackwing Ultra Rare and two ultimates, like, it's so peak, feel sorry for them getting this many, this Blackwing card. Um, 3 DDD King Leonidas, Leon, Leo, Leonidas, maybe that. Uh, 8 Sabertooths, another bloody black wing. <laughs> 18 Gradle Reckons, this was quite cool. Um, after I bought these, I looked up the price because I thought they were a couple quid and they're literally over a fiver. Um, I don't know in a Dimensional Chaos Advanced Edition or something if they're going to do the same as they did with Cross Souls, so having random supers of that set in it. So I'm just going to shift these really quick so I'll get rid of them low. And uh, Majesty's Pegasus is actually a light card. Well, there's not a reason I picked it up in it, they're obviously quite easy to shift as well. Uh, some more Pegasuses. Last binder. There's nothing special, this is literally just all bulk. Um, we got loads of beginning knights. Uh, a couple of super soldier shields. There's more on the next page. Don't know why it's empty. Charging guide of fierce knights is six up there. A couple of legendary, legendary fisherman threes. More of the legendary fisherman threes. Cradle parasites. Uh, 18 I think, that's 27, yeah 28 even, and loads of dogfighters, 26 of them, 26, um, 18 King Kaliuga, 18 Evening Twilight Knight, 17 uh, King Caesar Ragnarok, um, and low, I think Gateway of Chaos, I don't know, there's quite a lot of those. And this was called, there were 30, 27 here and then 30 in the previous or earlier in the binder. So there's 30 of these cards, and these are sick because I can literally. I can make a lot of money back selling these. They're actually quite, they're quite decent super rares, decently priced super rares. Um, Gateway of Chaos, there's a couple of them. And yes, that is the whole of the collection. Now, obviously, it didn't come in binders. I just organised it. It took about an hour and a bit. It's something I do, just I watch something in the background and start organising. But I'm really happy with this collection, actually. Now, let me know what how you think I did. And I will see you guys later.